this video I'm going to explain the basics of how to use vector brushes in Affinity Designer. If you want to know how to load brushes I have another video for that so we're going to assume you already have some brushes loaded. And the first thing you need to do is to open the brushes panel which you can do by going to view, studio and brushes. Affinity Designer comes with loads of pre-installed brushes uh, and it actually includes a secret set made by me, the Artifacts Forge, which is this engraving set here. To choose a brush set, simply click on the drop down menu here and scroll down to the one you'd like to use. I'm going to use my outstanding oil paint brushes uh, for this demonstration. Now simply select the vector brush tool by clicking on it here and then select one of the brushes by clicking on that and simply click and drag. Now one of the great things about Affinity Vector Brushes is that you can adjust the stroke after drawing it. So to do this simply select the node tool and as you can see all of these little nodes here can be easily manipulated. So if I want to delete one simply select it, hit the delete key and it's gone. If I want to move it simply select a node and drag these arms or drag the node itself and you can repose it which is great so the brushes are always live. If you want to adjust the width of your stroke simply adjust the stroke width here on the stroke panel so if we want to make the paint mark thicker simply make the stroke wider and vice versa. To adjust the colour of your brush stroke simply go to the colour tab and change the stroke colour. As you can see it's currently set to black so we're going to make it blue there and maybe purple like so. Another useful thing about Affinity Vector Brushes is you can reverse the direction of your stroke very very easily. Now to do this simply make sure we have our brush stroke selected using the node tool there and then simply click on this icon here which says reverse curve. As you can see the direction of your brush stroke is flipped. If you need to convert your brush stroke back to a standard vector curve that's very easy to do as well. Simply click here and your style options will come up and simply click on the solid line icon and you've got a standard vector stroke. If you want to switch back to the brush stroke, click the brush icon. Final thing I'd like to do in this video is to show you a little time saving tip which is to do with setting certain brush settings before you start drawing. So I have my brush selected here and you get the brush options appearing at the top of the screen here and you can set any of these before you start drawing. So I'll change the colour, I can do that easily. The width, I can set the width to anything I like beforehand. And this also goes for the opacity as well. So I'm going to draw a stroke there and then I'm going to demonstrate drawing a thicker stroke. Let me see. Now if I adjust the opacity before drawing, you get a partially opaque line. It's also quite fun to play around with blend modes. Um, you can get quite different effects. So if I select multiply for example, you can see you get sort of like a build up of colour. And another fun one to play with is Contrast Negate where you'll get a completely contrasting colour which can be quite good for building up painterly effects. If you head over to artifactsforge.com you'll find I've got a huge range of vector brushes including some freebies to get you started.